A Philippines-based church with chapters across Canada has the means and the motivation to kill a former minister should he be returned to his homeland. And its members did attempt to have him killed in the past. That's all according to the Immigration and Refugee Board, which has granted Lowell Menorca refugee status and found him to be a person in need of protection. Our Eric Rankin has this exclusive story. For almost two years, Lowell Menorca has been on the run from a religious organization, seeking refugee status in Canada, claiming his church was out to kill him. Now the Immigration and Refugee Board has ruled Menorca is indeed a person in need of protection. I was ecstatic. I was, I was overcome with joy. It's my first big sigh of relief, uh, to tell you the truth. Oh, Menorca was a former unordained minister with the INC, Iglesia Ni Cristo, Spanish for the Church of Christ, now the third largest religion in the Philippines after Catholicism and Islam. It's also spread across Canada with 40 places of worship like this one. The INC teaches these are the end of days and only its believers will be saved. In 2015, after a change in INC leadership, Menorca says church administrators suspected he was a dissident blogger who accused them of overspending and corruption and alleged a cult of personality was being built around the new leader, grandson of the church founder. Investigation room. What happened next grabbed Philippine headlines. Menorca says he was targeted. <laughs> abducted by members of the church, including police officers, who attempted to kill him. Undercover police, seen here at a later date, tried to arrest him as he headed to Philippines court seeking protection. Finally, Menorca says he received this, what he interpreted as a death threat aimed at his two-year-old daughter. His young family fled into hiding in Asia while he sought refugee status here. Look uh, all around you to make sure that uh, nobody's following you. After reviewing Menorca's allegations and evidence, the IRB has pulled no punches, finding the INC will have both the means and the motivation to seriously harm or kill Menorca if he were to return to the Philippines, and that members of the INC have previously detained Menorca unlawfully and did attempt to have the claimant killed. I cried and I prayed and I thank God that finally this was the vindication that I was uh, praying for. But Menorca says he's still looking over his shoulder. Shortly after he arrived here in 2016, he claimed he was being stalked. Photos posted online by an INC member, tagged with comments such as, watch your back, someone is behind you. The Church of Christ is a law-abiding church. At the time, the INC's North American spokesperson denied the church was persecuting Menorca and predicted his refugee claim would be rejected. The Kenyan government is going to see through all of these allegations here and see that this is not a threat here. But the Immigration and Refugee Board has found the opposite to be true. CBC News repeatedly asked the church for reaction, but the INC's lawyer says the church won't comment until it conducts its own investigation of the IRB decision. Menorca now hopes to go from refugee to permanent resident if Canada approves his application so he can bring his family here, including his one-year-old son born in his absence. I still haven't held him in my hands, in my arms. They will never be safe, fully safe, unless we're all together. Eric Rankin, CBC News, Vancouver.